Princess Beatrice attended the premiere of new film Confetti at BAFTA in London. But the mother of one was accused by royal watchers of leaving the film, which is based on director Anne whose life as she brings up a daughter with dyslexia before it even began. Royal author Omid Scobie shared a photo of the 34-year-old royal with two audience members with the film credits behind them. He wrote on Twitter, typically negative and typically untrue. Despite the bold claim, Princess Beatrice stayed until the very end of Confetti which tells the story of a dyslexic girl's struggles with the schooling system in China. She even took a photo in front of the ending credits. Ahead of the viewing, Beatrice had said, as dyslexics, I think it's important that we all support the film. Beatrice found her early school days challenging before she was diagnosed with dyslexia aged 7. The royal had also received loving support from her family including her mother who upended traditions to make her oldest daughter feel secure. The Duchess of York's friend Lizzie Cundy explained Beatrice went to St. George's School in Ascot, Berkshire, close to where her parents live. Speaking to the Channel 5 documentary, Beatrice and Eugenie, Pampered Princesses, she noted Beatrice's dyslexia was the reason for this. Narrator Glynis Barber said, Beatrice would later speak movingly of the condition for the charity, made by dyslexia. Upending royal tradition, it was decided to keep Beatrice at a local school in nearby Ascot, Ms. Cundy said, I think Sarah felt it was very important that Beatrice was made to feel very secure and that her mum was just round the corner if needed. Beatrice created the virtual message for the charity made by Dyslexia which aims to help the world properly understand, value and support Dyslexia. The princess said her condition made learning very challenging at school. She said, the reason I am so passionate about dyslexia is because of being a dyslexic person myself. I feel like I really understand that we have a responsibility to change the narrative around what we are delivering to young people in the classroom. I was very lucky, I got to go to a school that was very nurturing and very supportive. But I would describe the actual day-to-day -day learning side of things as very challenging. <laughs>